God's children are friends of mine, the ones I really do care about. God's children, the working man, the underdog and the down and out. But a poor girl can always dream that things are not just the way they seem. And a poor man can make dreams come true with a little help from me and you. And there are many, many little children down in the heartbreaking, hungry side of town. Come along with me and I'll show you some that don't know where their help is coming from. But we could all lead them to a brighter day if we could work together in a united way. If we could work together in a united way. I've written a lot of songs over the years about people in trouble who have to hold out their hands for help. As I think about these songs, I realize that almost every one of us finds himself at some point in his life in a spot where he has to reach out for help. I like to think that we live in a society where there's someone to give that help when it's needed. That's what the United Way is all about, and that's why I want to speak for the United Way. The United Way works for so many different kinds of people in so many ways that you can get lost just trying to list them all. I want to tell you about just one United Way story, but I think it will stand for so many others. It's a story about a boy that I'll call Bobby. It's a true story. Bobby is retarded. Now, I know that nothing worries an expectant parent more than the thought of, what if my child doesn't turn out right? And there's nothing that gives a parent more joy than hearing the doctor say, it's a perfect child. But what happens when fate doesn't go your way? What happens to the child? What happens to the parents? Somehow of all the things that could be wrong with a child, retardation is probably the most difficult to accept. And yet when you visit a center for retarded children, it only takes a few moments to be swept up into a joyous feeling. You get to love these children so quickly because you realize that, after all, they're God's children too. There are many, many little children down in the heartbreaking, hungry side of town. Come along with me and I'll show you some that don't know where their help is coming from. But we could all lead them to a brighter day if we could work together in a united way. If we could work together in a united way. When little Bobby was born, he was the sunniest child his parents could imagine. It was everything they dreamed of for their firstborn. The doctors told them that everything was just fine, so they had no reason to suspect that anything was wrong. Bobby seemed normal until he was two or so, but by the time he passed three, his parents began to worry. Bobby wouldn't talk, and he seemed to be behind other children his age. The doctor told him not to worry, Bobby was slow in developing, he said. A lot of children are like that. They wanted desperately to believe the doctor, but they couldn't keep their doubts from growing and eating away at them. They went to more doctors, specialists. Their savings were being eaten up. And finally, the blow they feared so much came. Bobby was retarded. There was no doubt about it. The doctor told Bobby's mother of special schools that might help Bobby, but they were very expensive and seemed way out of reach. They went on for a while, hoping against hope that somehow Bobby would snap out of it. There was no reason for Bobby to be retarded, they thought. It was not in the family, and he looked so normal, not like those others, but they could not keep up the pretense. Deep down, they knew. Bobby's father took it worse. He was ashamed of his child now. He felt Bobby would have to be put away. It was the only answer, he said. Bobby's mother would not have it. 
He was their child, a child of God whom she loved more and more because of what he was. She would not allow him to be put into an institution where he'd be lost to them forever. Finally, Bobby's mother turned to the United Way. She found out that she was not alone. There was hope for children like Bobby. They found a center that could help Bobby. Bobby's test showed that he was capable of making a good deal of progress. It would take love, specially trained teachers and counselors, but he could learn to take care of himself and he would grow up to be a man who could function in society. Progress was slow. Sometimes it was hard to see even from month to month. There are many, many little children down in the heartbreak and hungry side of town. Come along with me and I'll show you some that don't know where their help is coming from. But we could all lead them to a brighter day if we would work together in a united way. If we would work together in a united way. And then one day, a tiny miracle. Not much by normal count, but for Bobby and his parents, it was a miracle. Bobby's father came to see his child in a school play. There was his child, emerging from his frightened little world. He was learning to respond to directions, to play with other little children. There was no point to grieving. That time had passed. There are many, many little children down in the heartbreak and hungry side of town. Come along with me and I'll show you some that don't know where their help is coming from. But we could all lead them to a brighter day if we would work together in a united way. If we would work together in a united way. Well, Bobby's parents did find out where the help was coming from. That's how the United Way works, and that's the way it works for all of us. It's working every time one of us reaches out to help someone in need. It's working when the visiting nurses help the sick and the aged, when the Salvation Army and the Red Cross take care of people in emergencies, and when folks get a bad break. You can see it working in the smiles of little children in daycare centers and of young people in scouting and the wise. And it's working when you and I and all of the thousands of other volunteers across the land give our fair share because when you help someone the United Way, it starts working for you. So this year I'm asking all my friends to join with me by giving their fair share the United Way. Thanks to you, it's working. And there are many, many little children down in the heartbreak and hungry side of town. Come along with me and I'll show you some that don't know where their help is coming from. But we could all lead them to a brighter day if we could work together in a united way. If we could work together in a united way.